hey, 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 you guys, another chit chat. How y'all doing? Look, this is, y'all remember, I don't really show my body a lot. This is me, girl. This is what I'm working with. This is me. Uh-oh. I ain't got no butt, so that's what she working with. This is, this is me at 42, about to be 43. Girl, sit your ass down. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's another chit chat. Um... In this chit chat, I got a lot to talk about, and I'm going to be setting my hair in a style using the Cantu Wave Whip Curling Loose. All right, you guys, I had to get situated because I'm actually recording two videos in one. <clears throat> um, girl, I took look, y'all gotta be careful with these supplements sometimes. I've been complaining to my husband every now and then I'm, that I'm cold. I'm always cold. And so he's like, you need to take some iron pills. I'm like, you're right. You're right. I do. And so I bought some iron and um, I make sure it was vegan and all this other stuff. Girl, I, as soon as I took it, my whole tongue started getting all nibbly and I had a little reaction. Like it didn't hurt, but... It was itchy and my chin is still a little itchy. So I, I checked the bottle again because I am allergic to shellfish. I don't get really adverse reactions besides itchiness and stuff like that. And so I checked the um, container and it was nothing. Now, my husband did say sometimes if it's a high concentrated, if your body's not used to it, you can buy my... <laughs> I don't want that again because I took it two hours ago and I'm still a little itchy. And sure enough... Yeah, so anyway, you guys, this is another chit chat. Y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life. I'm talking about what I'm looking at on YouTube. And I'm talking about what I watch on TV. Now, girl, yeah, y'all, <laughs> we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about her. So personal life, child, JB is turning 10 tomorrow. I cannot believe it, you guys. That means I have officially been on, been on YouTube for over 10 years. Because I remember when I came on and showed y'all my little Billy, little Billy, um, and that was, you know, 10 years ago. And so my parents were up here this past weekend because they wanted to, you know, come for his birthday. I made JB a little cake. We sang happy birthday to him. Oh, my baby. And so, um, yeah, we're excited about that. Then yesterday evening, I get a text, a text message from his little teacher, basically saying, hi, um, we were hoping that JB's behavior would get better, but we're noticing that he is still doing a lot of talking and being very disruptive. So I've gotten a couple of messages on like a little like notepad. Hey, yay to the class clown. And we, I spoke to JB about that as soon as I saw it, but his one, it's, let me back up. There's two teachers in JB's classroom. And this one teacher looks after the third graders. Child, the third graders are a hot ass mess in this class. And so I was going back and forth with her and let her know that I'm going to speak to him. Like, this is this is not cool. Because she's, she's even saying, I'm when I ask him to stop, he'll stop. And literally 30 seconds later, he's back into it. Look, when JB, <laughs> look. Typically, my husband goes and pick him up, but I rode with him yesterday to pick him up. And I was hiding in the back with my uh, hoodie on, like I'm, I'm working for ops or something, or, you know, I'm working for the cartel. I'm, I'm there. I was ready. I was, I jumped out and was like, huh, hey. So I let him know, like, look, this is not acceptable. You are there to learn. We paying $10,000 a year for you to go up there and, I be freaking Eddie Murphy. You, we, you can do that shit for free at public school. You're not there to entertain people and make people laugh. So punish him, take his stuff away. He was upset. He was crying, crying hard. Um, and let the teacher know that I'm going to be busting up in there. Pop up, pop up shop, pop up mama. I'm just going to be showing up at any time. When I dropped him off, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm that mama. When I dropped him off, I waited in the car for 10 minutes and went back in there. I was like, hey, what's up? And one of the girls was like, ooh, JB, it's your mom. And so the two, him and his other little friend, the ones that were being disruptive, I looked at both of them. I said, look, y'all need to get it together. 
y'all need to get it together. You're not here to, there's a time and place for everything. You don't need to be in here, JB, to be doing this. And, and the other, other little boy was starting to laugh. I said, you know what? I've seen your daddy belt buckle. I could tell he don't play. When I tell you all, y'all, his face changed. <laughs> the teacher started laughing. His face, his face changed so fast. And so the teacher said, she said, yep, I had a call, a conversation with his mother. She said, so long story short, the teacher had to move them, separate them, getting on JB, letting him know that you can't do that. You, you can't. And when a teacher tells you to be quiet and shush up, you need to be quiet and shush up. It's just ri a ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Anyway, you guys, but besides that, my baby's turning 10. You see how parents are, <laughs> y'all lovey-dovey, they go off. <clears throat> what else, what else, what else? So, in the midst of all of this, I am very curious to know what you guys think about the Melanin Hair Care Deep Conditioner because I think I may purchase it and review it. It's a little pricey, but I'm willing to I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to buy it um, and see what it, how it is. I've heard some mixed reviews, so I'm very curious to see how it will react on my hair. I will say I do absolutely do like her styling product, but for me, it works better if I layer it. You know what I mean? Um, and it did last me a fairly long time, but again, it's just one of those products that works better if you layer it with other products. And I'm not so sure if I want to keep investing in a product that costly, knowing that I have to still add another product to get the results that I'm looking for. I'm just being honest. I love Whitney. I love that she shared my pictures. Girl, what is that? It's my bad. Hold on, y'all. Anyway. Like I said, I love Whitney. I love that she has shared. Anytime I I have made a video or anything, and she has been gracious enough to share um, my pictures or videos on her platform, and I do appreciate that. Um. So yeah, I think I made body deep conditioner. Girl, let's get into it. Yeah, child. Uh, black folks is like not on my watch. <laughs> Procter and Gamble has acquired Miel Organics. We, we shouldn't even call them Miel Organics because didn't they drop organics a couple of years ago? I think it's been. Um, <coughs> so those you don't know, it's really not going to phase me. Now, I know a couple of people are like, well, let me go ahead and stock up on some stuff before they change it. Yes, please do. Um, I stopped supporting Miel back when the incident happened with Linda Lynn. You guys know Linda had a dinner review and it wasn't in the liking that the owners appreciated. So I'm going to say supposedly to, to um, protect myself. Supposedly her husband Melvin contacted Linda and was in a very threatening manner manner, excuse me. However, even besides that, I myself have seen messages, not necessarily messages, I've seen posts from um, the wife Monique that is very na nice, nasty, nice Southern Baptist, Christian, nasty type of, girl, just say what you want to say. Don't, don't be, pa very passive aggressive. So I'm not a fan of theirs. And so I stopped supporting them just like I stopped supporting Shea Moisture years ago. People like Eminem, Monique and Melvin, uh, it's business, okay? And so, and I'm going to say this and it is what it is. All black people ain't for black people. I'm going to say that too. So it gets to a certain level in your business from what I understand. Look, I don't know everything about it, everything, but from what I understand, it gets to a certain level as a business owner where you have to get help. And you just so happen to be Procter and Gamble's ass. And so, yes, absolutely, their formula is going to change. The formula will change. And actually, I think some things have been changing anyway um <clears throat> over the course of years which is why they had they took organics out of the title um and, yeah the formula has been changing but it would definitely change again to not only be inclusive but also so that Procter and Gamble can cover their butts and so we want to make sure that we are using 
the most, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the word affordable, the most affordable ingredients, products, whatever, for the product so we can get the most profit out of this. Does that make sense? It is, it is heartbreaking to know that you have another Black-owned company that is following into the footsteps of Curl's daughter, Shea Marster, and Jane Carter, unfortunately, where they're no longer a Black-owned. But again, this is business. But like I said, it is because at the end of the day, Black people are the number one consumer. Overall, we are the number one consumer in the United States, even though we make up less than 12% of the population, if I remember correctly. Um, black women, especially women, make up 83% of the buying market when it comes to consumers. Black women, I think it was something like black women, we're talking about billions of dollars, billions of dollars we spend a year just on beauty. So Proctor and Gamble was like, hey, yeah, Monique and Melvin, we'll help y'all out. Of course we will. That is a way for them to build generational wealth. That is a way for them to step back and breathe a minute. Yes, it's going to change. Yes, the formula is going to change. Yes, there's going to be more products coming out at a, at a steadily or more increasing. But maybe now Monique will be able to ship some of those stuff out for y'all. <laughs> I said I wouldn't be petty, but hell, I don't care. You will begin your shipments now on time. <laughs> so you will begin your pomegranate and whatever the hell on time now. So that's that's the um that's the good side, that's the bright side, right? But like I said, y'all, this is business. I mean, it's you still have some black owned companies like that. I think Design Essentials is still black owned. <coughs> and this is my thing. Um, there are several products that I use that are not black owned, and I've gotten to the point to where I am more I am more so concerned about the integrity of the company, more so if it's black owned. If it's black owned, that's a double win for me. Does that, does that make sense? Because you have a company like Miel, which has, they've known to bully people online. They're black owned. And should I support them just because they're black owned? No, because they've had some nasty attitudes of how they treated their own people or just people in general so it's a no for me so yeah girl y'all fit to be tired about you go ahead go ahead and get your pomegranate what else they got go ahead and get your um y'all yeah, forgot the name of the products but get what you can girl stock up now while you can <laughs> it's not funny it's business all they see is the color green at the end of the day it's business Congratulations to Eminem. They just set their next generations of their family up for life at the end of the day. Just don't, I don't know what it is to say, y'all. I don't know what else to say about that. It'll be, you know, like I said, if you still want to follow, I think that TGIN is still black owned. I think so, but you never know. You never know. So, all right, you guys, let's go on and talk about what I've been watching on YouTube, you guys, my guilty pleasure is Kendra G. <laughs> and so what has she is to a certain degree, I think that she is fair in her platform. And so what happens is that she has singles to call her up because they're looking for love. And what you do is you give your, you know, you give your stats to let them know what you're looking for. And Kendra will, you know, it's a platform for you to basically pump yourself up. It's just like that. Remember back in the day where you had, well, they had it in the newspapers. Oh my God, I'm aging myself. They would have looking for love in the newspapers. And then they went to Craigslist. And now you could do it on Kendra G's YouTube channel. So anyway, girl. So she'll have men and women call her, her channel, call in or whatever. And you drop what you want, what you, you drop who you are, what you're looking for you know, what your wants and needs, not your wants and needs, what are your, what does she call it? And you drop your Instagram account or whatever, and that's how people can contact you, potential people. Ciao. let me tell you something. My husband, we better make this work out. Like, you cannot pay me enough to be in a single life in 2022 and any time past the year 2000, you could not pay me to be single. The shit fest, excuse my language, that is, I mean, I and every now and then you get some gems from both the men and women, but girl, overall, I mean, you had a man on there that said that he has like 
six, like four or five, six baby mamas. Um, oh my God. Um, a couple of drug dealers, known dr they dr they're drug dealers calling in. Child, one woman, <laughs> I had to watch this one like two or three times. She was basically like, Kendra, first of all, she's on cam like this because she had, she's on cam like this. This is, this is her, this is her, um, her, her weave. And she's like this. And Kendra's like, can you get in a better lightning? And she's like, okay, Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Hey, child. She's like, can you get in a better lightning? Basically, this woman has a crazy ex-husband. Um, she's looking for someone who has a million dollars in assets because she does, because she brought up Brooklyn, went back in the 90s. So it's easy, Kendra. Well, she said, it's easy. Um, her kids are grown. She doesn't want to have sex at all, but you need to have a million dollars in assets, but you, she doesn't want to have sex. And, oh, and by the way, she's currently, uh, having sex with a married man. You can't, child, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you got some women. I feel like, oh, they truly had some women that call in and they're like, yeah, I'm looking for a man that makes, um, this amount of money and look there's nothing wrong with having expectations you guys it really isn't but you got to be realistic with yourself okay. all i know is that the the pick is a slam out here for both men and women you would not i can't do it oh then she she has all types of all types of people she has um you know gay men coming on she had like a man and woman coming on looking for another girlfriend i'm like oh my god i can't like is it is this is this real like, I feel like I'm living in another, you know what? Earth is ghetto. That's all I have to say. It, it's just a ghetto landfill of foolery. So, yeah, Kendra G, y'all, that's my guilty pleasure. Um, Gym Naturals, apparently. There are a couple of YouTubers who are, they're saying it. So, if, if you're going to make a video and saying you're leaving YouTube, I believe you. So, Gym Naturals, I believe. I didn't watch all of her videos. She's the one young lady. She's very, very talented in her editing. She did a couple of videos where she did a split screen and it basically showed her and another character which is basically herself and my dumb ass I thought she had a twin I didn't realize she was editing her editing skills are on point but anyway she is supposedly leaving YouTube I really didn't watch a lot of her videos well when I did I I tried to tune in you know I'm gonna miss her because she was very very goofy and i like her content apparently she's a um she's an actress and so she's very talented like i said um mo eaton show now mo is a mukbanger and i like her mukbang videos when she was you know very active because she's a clean and neat mukbanger she uses a napkin or she covers up her mouth um yeah my nails i have to do my nails over but anyway so She's been doing videos lately to where now she's living in her van. Now she vaguely said in one of her um in one of her videos that she got into a little I guess she has some fam family dynamics going on. And so and I don't think I could be wrong. I don't think Mo is that young. You know, whenever I hear someone saying they're living in their van or something, I'm picturing like a 20 something year old, you know, just starting out. But I think that sister woman is over 30. If this is something that she wants to do, and the one video I did see, she said that it was something that she'd been thinking about for a while. And so more power to her. I would be so paranoid to do that. I just, I would just be paranoid because to me, it just seems like it would be unsafe for anybody, let alone a woman. Um, But I'm going to check her out. You guys, check her out. Her name is Mo Eaton Channel. Um, it should be interesting to see how this goes. I wonder what happened to Van Girl, y'all. You know what? I'm going to be very honest. Remember yet? Remember that, you guys? It's been like, I think it was like before COVID, there was this really popular young black girl. And it was it a van? I think that she is... Girl, get your tinfoil, tinfoil hats on. I think that she's someone that YouTube put out there to do that. Like, yeah, let's get this cute girl with all this beautiful hair, cute little, um, healthy little black girl, and let's buy her a van and make some money.
I don't know, y'all. Is that, is that big of a stretch? Girl, maybe big of a stretch. All right, so y'all, what I'm watching on TV and movies. So we are watching, well, we finished this um, series. I think it's on, is it on Paramount? Called 1922. It has Helen Marion and freaking um, Harrison Ford. I'm like thinking... I was looking at him i'm like do they got do he has on do he have on makeup what's going on and my daddy was like nah he's just old <laughs> i love old people <laughs> my daddy was like nah he's just old i'm like oh okay i thought it was makeup you know how do you can wear makeup to make you look old he's like nah he's just old i said oh okay then he's just old hi harrison Ford. But anyway, called 1922, and it is, I guess, the sequel to 1893 or 18-something, which my husband loves Westerners and stuff like that. So I was watching that with him, child. And then I watch, I don't know why, I read watch Hannibal. And look, did you guys know, of course, a lot of these movies, like um, Silence of the Lambs was based off of a, of a book, excuse me. But, and so it was Hannibal. Hannibal's based off a book too. But how the, the book is totally different from the movie in Hannibal. If you remember Hannibal, how um he ended up, she ended up finding him in Italy. He came back, disclaimer, he came back with Julianne Moore and seduced her. He started eating Ray Liotta's brain. I know, I know, I know it's disgusting. Started eating Ray Liotta's brain. But in the book, it doesn't end like that. In the book, Clarice and Hannibal Lecter travel the world and like become lovers. When I said what, I'm going to have to get the book and read it. I have a lot of books that I purchased and I, I plan on reading a lot more, you guys, for this year. Just because I started to do that last year, just reading a lot more in general. And I want to keep that up. Isn't that crazy? Because you imagine if the movie ended like that, shall no, boo, mm -mm. So... Another one I saw is The Good Nurse, which is based on a true story. And of course, I don't know the people. I never know the people's names, but it starts that girl from Molly's Game, the redhead. She also played in um, The Help. Y'all know her. She's so cute. And um, the girl guy from Danish, <laughs> Danish Girl. It is a really good movie. It's called The Good Nurse, but the nurse ain't good, child. The nurse ain't good. Um, Deadly Illusions is another good one. I'm starting to rewatch Good Girls. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me. So this is the thing, y'all. I have another another spin on why Good Girls was possibly canceled. I, I do. They had a lot of chemistry. Like, Christina and Manny. It was so... There was something there. She she tried to say, or I saw a blog or something that said that he kept sniffing her hair. Stop it, Christina. Stop it. What if, what if something did happen? Like, what if something did happen and somebody got a little T.O. And I even heard something about like his wife was a little mess on the set because she played in one episode. She made like a cameo in one episode. She doesn't come off like that, but who knows? I don't know her. She could, you know, but long story short, the entire cast had agreed to take a pay cut and Manny was like, not me, boss. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm the show. And honestly, he did make the show. Netflix wasn't willing to pick it up. And so it ended after three seasons. No, four, three or four. It was supposed to go on for four seasons. They decided not to bring 1899 back. I won't be having Jonas, so I'm going to have to watch Dark again. Confusing that show. Um, Some shows I have. Oh, girl. Another one I watched because it has Clive Owen. I love me. Look, Clive Owen ain't the cutest man in the world. I'm just going to be honest. But he has sex appeal. He just does. Clive Owen with Chloe. And of course, it also has um, Julianne Moore and Jude Law is weird as. I think Jude Law is weird as hell. I'm sorry. I really do. So Chloe is sexy. It's good. It's for adults. You can't watch with your babies around. But it's cool. I like it. It's on Netflix. What I have on my list to watch. Look, I tried to watch it, y'all. Kaleidoscope. First of all, when they told you that, oh, you can watch this in different, you can watch this out of order. 
there's different um, clues. I'm like, I can't, my anxiety would not be able to handle kaleidoscope or however the hell you pronounce it. I can't handle it. I don't need for stuff to go out. I need to be in order. I don't need to know the colors. I know my damn colors. What's going on? So let me know if y'all seen it. You, you like it? Should I watch it? Am I being extra? I probably am. But let me know, y'all. What I have on my list to watch is New Amsterdam, Woman of the Dead, and Copenhagen Cowboy. So that's what I have. All right, you guys, I'm getting to a wrap. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. Let me know how y'all think about this meal. You agree with me, it's business, is business. You want support in their asses anyway. You ain't got to say all that, but you can. Um, Just let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said in 2023, I would be a better person. We're working on it. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.